what we are interested in it's as architects this is important to understand we are here exhibiting in a in a museum for digital art but we are not artists we are architects uh, artists and architects share a couple of things but also very different and uh, we'll come to this later but what interest us as architects is material because at the end of the day uh, architecture is built out of material spaces are physical and we experience them in a in a physical way walking through them living in them interacting with them and uh, or while throughout the 90s uh, everything has been about not everything, but uh, a lot. And uh, the most exciting things were about digitizing everything. Now we're talking about uh, virtual architecture, uh, virtual reality, I think that has come back now, 20 years later, with augmented reality, with certain technologies. But back then, those things were extremely uh, influential. Uh, we had the internet that was cha that was coming, changing uh, the way we communicate. We perceive everything. Mobile uh, uh, phones, uh, mobile internet later on, and all these things were radical, but sort of uh, uh, pulling us away from architecture. And we, as uh, back then young architects, were sort of both fascinated and extremely interested in this new reality because this just as a, a, a as a parent in parenthesis we both belong to a generation that uh, i don't know doesn't have a name but uh, experienced this probably it was about three four five years uh, mid of the 80s uh, suddenly machines computers came up that were both cheap enough to be considered toys, expensive toys, but toys. I'm talking about uh, Commodore consoles and stuff like this. They were programmable, but they did not have, they were not full PCs. They do, did not have a desktop, you know. They did not have classical software. So this machine you were obliged to program and uh, this uh, led to the fact that the consequence that we learned to program uh, in a playful way you know? and it was not it was just the only thing that you could do and uh, Matthias was programming games you know and there it was about dealing with this little memory you had and try to create motion you know by moving around pixels and this you could not do with some uh, high level uh, software as you would do it now you had really to go down deep into the logic of the computer in order to you know so we were uh, empowered you know or uh, uh, we talk about a skill so we were skilled you know and uh, so we were fascinated by these possibilities we were fascinated by the possibility to manipulate data you know, but we wanted to go back into the material and this finally came uh, or became possible uh, around the end of the millennium 2000 was also the year where we uh, set up our company and started to work uh, uh, together uh, because machines that uh, existed since a long time probably since 50 years uh, were getting big enough and cheap enough to be used, for example, by uh, construction industry or by uh, timber industry. You know, talking about big mills. The mill was there in other domains since a lot of years, but then we were suddenly uh, allowed to use mills of six by two or three meters. So addressing the scale of architecture, and this changed completely the approach because suddenly with data you could go directly into material so this way back